Παρουσιάζοντα τον Γάλλο πρέσβη, είπα ότι είναι, παρακολουθεί τα ελληνικά πράγματα με το βλέμμα ενό θερμά ενδιαφερόμενου τρίτου. Αυτό ο χαρακτηρισμό ισχύει πολύ περισσότερο για τον κύριο Κέβιν Φέδεστον. Τον ξέρετε όλοι, παρεμβαίνει συχνά στην ελληνική δημόσια συζήτηση. Είναι καθηγητή νεότερων ελληνικών σπουδών και είναι επίση επικεφαλή του ελληνικού παρατηρητηρίου του London School of Economics. Yeah. Κύριε Φέδεστον. Thank you very much indeed. And can I start by congratulating uh, Simeon for a fantastic conference? And I'm sure we've been enjoying the discussions and will continue to do so. It's a wonderful initiative, and I hope it uh, continues in the in the future. In the context of this particular uh, panel, I think what I wish to say uh, follows quite nicely on what uh, Nikki Forrest has been saying. Uh, but of course, the Uh, the quality will be much less uh, because uh, I'm a great admirer of the previous uh, speaker's work. I want to advance a simple metaphor, but one, I think, with complex implications. That is, I wish to argue that Greece for many years has been caught in a social trap, a set of constraints deeply embedded in society. The social trap envelops political life and undermines economic progress. The trap stems from low levels of social capital, a lack of trust, a problem of corruption, and high levels of inequality. Each of these things reinforce each other in a vicious circle. This is to apply the work of Bo Rothstein and others Uh, on social capital and social traps. He argues that the biggest single cause of a lack of social trust internationally are dysfunctional public institutions at home. Thus, the quality of domestic governance, of public administration, etc., is both a symptom and a cause of the lack of wider social trust. Public institutions and society, that is, exist in a symbiotic relationship with each other. Now, it's obvious, of course, that the current crisis has exacerbated the problem of social trust. Indeed, I'd suggest that the experience of 2015 is of a further fall in public trust towards the political system. A promised catharsis has not occurred, and inequality has increased further. As evident in recent years, a social trap is prone to populism, a populism of blame shift as offering simple but impossible solutions, leaving the social constraints on reform worse rather than better. Greece has a crisis of governance that has roots beyond the narrowly uh, economic and is ultimately social in character. Now, of course, Greece's poor quality public institutions pose problems for its rescue and for Europe. But I'd like to just take a moment to suggest that Greece is exceptional, not unique in European terms, in having low quality public institutions. And I'm hoping our colleagues will now show the first slide I wish to. Uh, wonderful. What we have. Uh, here, I'm not quite sure that it's uh, shown so clearly, so let me explain what it's based on. The World Bank produces a scale of the quality of governance, the quality of domestic public institutions internationally. They call it the Worldwide Governance Index. What I've done here is to take two elements of its scale one concerned with the effectiveness of government institutions, and the other concerned with the quality of market regulation. And if we take those over a 17-year period, 1996 uh, to 2013, on a remarkably stable basis, we have five categories of countries across Europe, five categories 
of EU member states. It is a remarkably stable categorization. Very few countries over the 17-year period shift between the circles I've highlighted. You can see here that the usual suspects of Scandinavia are at the top, but Greece is in the, the fourth circle down to the left, with Romania, Bulgaria, and Croatia uh, below it. It tells us, I think, that there is a challenge of the quality of governance for Europe as a whole. In fact, I would go further and say that uh, in the upcoming period, the biggest single challenge, the deepest challenge that the European Union faces is of the variation in the quality of domestic public institutions across its member states. Can I show the next slide, uh, please? Because the quality of governance using the World Bank uh, scale matters. It matters in a number of respects. We can take, for example, the infringements of EU law by national member states, the delays in transposing EU legislation, or the ability to absorb EU structural funds. There are remarkably high correlations in the performance of these really rather basic member state functions in the European Union and the quality of domestic public institutions. We can go further and say that uh, across the European Union, there is a very high correlation uh, in terms of the inefficiency of tax collection and the quality of public institutions, the levels of public debt or the levels of competitiveness in the economy. In short, I could elaborate, but in short, the basic headline here is that the quality of domestic public institutions matters. And it matters across Europe uh, in terms of the performance of EU member states. In other words, Europe has a general problem and uh, Greece is not unique in this respect. It is part of a problematic group in that respect. Now, is there an escape from a social trap? Of course, social values, social practices are deeply rooted. Cultural shifts take time, and a crisis, as Nikki Forrest has been emphasizing, creates uncertainty. Building up social capital is a gradual, long-term process. As we heard in the previous session, we can change constitutional provisions. No doubt a number of them are well um, designed and well intended. But ultimately, changing law is ultimately not enough. Let me suggest that uh, one of the aspects of Greek culture uh, which has contributed to the problem is the belief that governments are there to produce laws, period, full stop rather than to follow through in other respects. To suggest that we can change society on the basis of changing law, with all respect to my uh, distinguished uh, professorial colleagues in law, is ultimately not enough. We have to go uh, further. A social trap is difficult to break domestically because it requires those longer term cultural shifts and those are likely to be gradual. But if we're looking for optimism, then one means of breaking the social trap is by European intervention, but a European intervention with what would be fashionably called now a smart design. Smart because the European support and the domestic intervention from Europe would be based on engagement, dialogue, choice, and ownership. Even a bottom-up approach to changing society in the context of uh, the European Union today, improving political institutions. Even a bottom-up approach will need the right kind of supportive framework from the European Union itself. In other words, Europe needs to think beyond the nominal economic indicators and the fiscal targets, important as they are and start a partnership to overcome Greece's deeper social trap. 
rescue bottom up alone, I think, is vulnerable, will take a lot of time. One way of breaking through the social trap is through a more effective partnership uh, with the European Union in terms of domestic intervention, uh, well beyond the task force, beyond the Troika, with a different kind of mechanism for enhancing the quality of domestic public institutions. Thank you very much indeed.